Every year, billions of dollars in government contracts intended for small businesses go instead to large corporations. The result is billions of dollars in losses for those small businesses, the biggest source of jobs in this country, by the way. And the reason? A classic Washington mix of lax oversight, bad policy, and poor management. Bill Tucker has the report. Microsoft, Boeing, Google, Time Warner, all are small businesses according to the U.S. government, which awarded these companies and 62 more just like them contracts as small business. We are talking about the Microsoft of the world and the Rolls Royce and Lockheed Martin that has no business in getting contracting dollars that are supposed to go to small businesses. It's a practice that cost small businesses an estimated $12 billion in 2005 and hurt small business owners like Belinda Guadarrama, who owns a small computer hardware and software company. When we get a government contract, we hire more individuals from our local communities. We give back into the communities. We're actually supporting the local economies. She says there's a simple reason why Washington's competitive landscape favors larger businesses. Small businesses were not really organized well enough to be lobbying that strongly. I think uh, clearly when you look at who has the attention of Congress and the government, it's probably the large corporations. The Inspector General for the Small Business Administration, the agency which advises the federal government on these rules, says numerous issues are to blame. Regulatory loopholes allow companies that have grown or have been acquired by larger corporations to count as small businesses and hold on to long-term contracts for up to 20 years. Fraud is another component, but one of the biggest reasons is bureaucratic error. Administrators marking contracts to big businesses as having gone to small businesses. The SBA denied a request for an on-camera interview, but a spokesman defended their record of advocating for small business. And the Small Business Administration did announce an important rule change in November requiring that all small businesses now must recertify their status as small businesses every five years instead of every 20, as the old rule allowed, Lou. Five years? Five years. Well, that seems to leave a lot of room still, doesn't it? Well, they want them to grow, Lou. The logic is we don't well, want to punish a small to business to grow. It's certainly better than 20 years. Yeah, I, I, I'll give them that, <laughs> Bill. And by Washington standards, terrific. Bafo, hooray. Thank you very much. Bill Tucker.